When man always fails And you can open doors When we are too weak And you can comfort us When we are overwhelmed By the storms in this life You can do all that So Father Abba Your will be done Here on earth Jesus You wrap your arms around us You draw us close to you With you we are saved You take a broken life You are the potter You take a broken dream You are the potter Take a broken heart You are the part You take an anxious heart For you are the part I bow down again Giving you this place Trusting you to form me In any, any way I surrender Giving you this clay For you are the potter Form us and make and mold us and break us and take us and lead us and guide us you are the potter and you are the shepherd and you are the king yes you are So we sit down at your feet again, calling your name, Jesus, calling out your name. There's restoration in your name. There's healing. And 
salvation in your name. So here we are today. I'm pressing in, I'm pressing in, I'm pressing in. Jesus, I'm pressing in, I'm pressing in, I'm pressing in into that secret place where you love and move and have your be. I'm pressing in into that secret place. Heavenly Father, your will be done. Kingdom come, comforter, counselor, you work in us. Comforter. Counselor, you work in us. Mm. We are not afraid. You lead. We are not afraid. You lead the way. Shalom to all our friends and our family. On yet another beautiful day that the Lord makes for us. Another beautiful day where the Lord leads us and guides us. And I just pray that the peace that surpasses all understanding, that the peace that He gives, the peace that comes from Him, the peace that belongs to Him, who holds the title deed of peace. We pray in this time of worship as we come in again into the presence of the Lord, into a room where we can just shut the door and meet with our Father, our Father who never changes, our Father who loves you and me, who has always loved us who is working in our lives, in your life, and in my life, and maybe in Teresa's life. We pray that our Father will minister to our hearts. And in this time that we are spending together, this time where you are watching and listening. Maybe that your heart is overwhelmed by the word of the Lord, by the words that Jesus spoke, by spending time in his word, not just study his word, but love his word. 
He didn't call us to study his word as much as he has called us and made us to love his word. For the word became flesh, dwelt amongst us. The word is a person. And he expresses his heart and he expresses his ways right from the first chapter in Genesis up to the last chapter in Revelation. And all of that matters. I know that the Lord has been speaking to us as a family to me and he continues to speak what he spoke 35 years ago when I first met him to daily make time and rest in the Lord and wait on him and wait for him to speak and whatever the Lord says to do what he says I must do. We pray this for our family because obedience is better than any, any sacrifice that we can bring the Lord. Obedience stands out above everything else. And I pray that in this time of worship, where we come together in His beautiful and His glorious name, that the Lord will minister peace to your heart and hope to your life, that restoration will come, even if, even if we cannot see one another face to face. We are together. Because prayer once again goes everywhere and worship goes everywhere and his word goes everywhere here's an invitation from Jesus he speaks in his word in Matthew 11 verse 28 and he says come to me all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest our God is able he's the living one it's the one who has been in control forevermore even before creation. He controlled everything. Because everything is in Him and everything is from Him and everything is through Him and everything is to Him. of silence and in moments of waiting and in moments of sitting at his feet calling upon his name trusting him with an emphasis on trusting him we can trust him if anything he's the one we can trust You've heard us say this so many times because I hear him say this to me so many times. Make time in my word, at my feet, in my presence. So we just want to encourage you as you are listening, as you are watching, the Lord is with you. Please hear these words. These are not words that we speak. It is not words that your pastor, your reverend, 
when your friends are speaking over you. When we speak these words, we are merely repeating the words of Christ, of Jesus, of the Lord, of the King, of the one who holds the whole universe in the palm of his hand. Whether we believe it or not doesn't change who he is. His existence is not depending on our belief. He has always been and he always will be. And he is right now. And he says, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. A wonderful thing that I've changed in my life and our family's life is we lean towards trusting the Lord, regardless of what we see with our eyes regardless of all the news that we hear with our ears. It is like the Lord is developing a different ear in our heart to hear the word of the Lord. The word who says you can do all things through Christ. You can do anything and everything through Christ. Obviously with the emphasis on Christ. On Him. There are few things in life as beautiful as trusting someone. Trusting means that you have confidence in them. You believe in them. You know that their word is their word. And I know that we are very aware of what is happening in the world at the moment. We all are. The storms that are raging. And for some, the storms are really getting more severe every day. And you're wondering how will you get out of this? I know there are times that I wonder how we will get out and through this. And then the Lord reminds me of His Word. His Word that penetrates our hearts. He wants you and me to be like a tree planted next to the water. Where water feeds its roots, like His living water feeds our roots. But as for me and my house, we have made this decision, we have chosen that we will make time for the Lord daily, that He will consume more of my time than the words of the world will that I choose in everything that we do, even now in making this video, where me and Megan, where we just sit at the feet of the Lord, we don't say much, we don't bring another revelation, it is not another prophetic word. it's just time at his feet this is where we grow stronger and stronger and stronger the more we practice his presence and spend time with him the more things change so we pray for you we pray that whatever you are facing whatever you are going through Whatever has changed in your life, we pray that our Abba Father will just guide you. We pray that He will just lead you. We pray that He will just fill you. We pray that He will continue to change you and mold you as you are clay in this wonderful potter's hands. 
as you are clay in this beautiful potter's hands. In this potter who can take the most broken vessel. And when this vessel and all these thousands and millions and billions of pieces are touched by his potter hands, he can make something beautiful. Either for noble use or for common use. And I pray that I will never question the potter and the ways of the potter the guidance of the potter and how the potter leads us. Shalom to you. Shalom to your family.